temperature coefficient or Q10 is a way of quantifying the effect of change in temperature on the rate of reaction. Usually it means how much the rate of reaction changes for every 10 degree change in temperature. Let's look at this graph for example. Here we can see at 10 degree centigrade the rate of reaction was 1 unit and at 20 degree centigrade rate of reaction was 2 unit. So we can say that for 10 degree change in temperature the rate of reaction increased two times. Now you might have heard this that for enzyme reactions the rate doubles for every 10 degree increase in temperature. That is temperature coefficient is always 2 for enzyme reactions. But nah, it's not always true. Temperature coefficient can vary from reaction to reaction and from depending on time to time. Here's the formula for finding out temperature coefficient. So Q10 can be found by dividing the final rate of reaction divided by the initial rate of reaction. Here's another formula which means the same. Let's look at this graph for example. If we want to find the temperature coefficient between the temperature of 20 degree centigrade and 30 degree centigrade, we can do the following. First, we will have to find out the rate of reaction at 20 degree centigrade. So here it is. At 20 degree centigrade, the rate of reaction was 9.5. And then, the final temperature, which is in this case, 30 degree centigrade, the reaction was 21. So here is the formula. So in this case, the final rate of reaction was 21 and the initial rate of reaction was 9.5. So between 20 to 30 degrees centigrade, the temperature coefficient was 2.2. So what does this 2.2 mean? It means that at 30 degrees centigrade the reaction would proceed 2.2 times faster than the rate of reaction that was at 20 degree centigrade. Here is another example. Here what is the temperature coefficient if the temperature increases from 10 to 20? Again, this time the final temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. So at 20 degrees centigrade, the rate of reaction was here, that is 9.5. And the initial temperature is 10 degrees centigrade, and the rate of reaction over here is 4.5. So temperature coefficient will be 9.5 divided by 4.5. So in this case, the temperature coefficient is 2.10. Notice one thing, this reaction and the previous reaction were the same. However, the temperature coefficient in each case were different, meaning that between 10 to 20, the temperature coefficient was 2.1, and between 20 to 30, the temperature coefficient increased. We can notice it by the steepness of graph. Here, the graph seems to be much stiffer, so the temperature coefficient has increased. Here, it is even more stiffer, so the temperature coefficient over here is much more. However, between these two temperatures, the gradient of graph is not that steep, meaning that the temperature coefficient is starting to decrease, or more exactly, at this level, the temperature coefficient is increasing at a decreasing rate and as we increase the temperature beyond the optimum temperature we can see the temperature coefficient is actually decreasing